good afternoon. It is our last day in Porto. We're here with Kia and Cheryl. Where is Cheryl? Cheryl's being a photographer. Cheryl's being a photographer. And we are about to head to a cat cafe, which is also vegan, apparently. And um, yeah, just have a day wandering around and seeing Porto for our, our last full day here, because we leave tomorrow at like nine in the morning. So I'm gonna be sad to leave, but we're gonna have a really good day. So perfect. Look at that fluff on his belly. It's one of the most beautiful cats I've ever seen. Ones like this. Actually, um, your sister Charlie got me that as a present to go to the cat cafe. She did, and Christmas. you still haven't yeah. claimed it. Some of them are like they take the cats and kind of force them. No, the one Charlie but, got is an adopted oh, one. Okay, good. Yeah, that's what this is like. Like yeah. rescued cats. Yeah, it's rescued cats. And they just and they what, look so happy they here. They do what they want. They sunbathe. They all literally day. look like they're in heaven. Well, they get stroked and looked after all day. Well, there's two black cats. Is there? Yeah. <gasps> Deja vu. They're so beautiful. We're in heaven. So cute. They've got it all here, haven't they? Yeah. Oh, you. So we're a cat cafe, and the menu was very traditional. So we kind of just all kind of blindly ordered, but everything here is vegan and I got this little aubergine, look, basically just aubergine cheese and tomato and lots of herbs and olive oil and it's absolutely delicious. It kind of tastes like lasagna. Someone's come to join us. <laughs> Hello. So we're finishing at the Cat Cafe. We're all sad to be leaving. It's so cool, the decorations in here, like the lights, and then like on the seats, they have like cat print on the seats. Yeah, it's very, very cool. Definitely recommend if you come to Porto, come to the Cat Cafe and um, stroke some cute cats. I don't know what we're doing now though. I think Zoe and Aaron are back at the apartment. They've got work to do, so sadly they're not joining us, but we maybe will go do a little bit of sightseeing in town. I really want to go to this church called Igreja Sao Francisco, I think. And then maybe the Palazzo de Cristal. We'll see, it depends. Because obviously it's like, later on in the day, it's like 20 past four. And it depends what these guys wanna do, but yeah. I'm loving Porto, I love it here, it's so great. We're all saying how we can all live here and we wanna come back next year because yeah, it's amazing. And if you're thinking of coming, I don't know if we've said this already in the vlogs, but if you're thinking of coming, definitely do. Because I've never really even heard of Porto as like a place to visit. I've never heard anyone talk about it or... I only know Porto through football. Yeah, I really I didn't even like, it wasn't even on my radar yeah. until Cheryl invited us. 
Definitely one of the best European cities I've been to. Yeah, me too. And also incredible vegan food. Like one of the best vegan food places I've been to. As like we've not been able to go to all of them. There's so many. So yeah, we love it. Okay, so we all agreed that that was just kind of really creepy. It was very beautiful and like cool, but cathedrals make me feel, normally make me feel peaceful. But that was just like a bit over the top and creepy. Very Do you agree? Yeah. I haven't seen a cathedral like that before. Very different. To return, I don't know when we last logged. So we had a drink. We, walking we had a, the drink. We had a drink here, and then we walked home. And then Cheryl, <laughs> silly girl, left her phone on charge in this little bar. So we come back to get it. Fingers crossed they have it. Look at these girls dancing. Yeah, it's not bad coming back here, is it? Look at it. <laughs> Two hours later. Enjoy seeing this in the vlog. Oh, <laughs> it was our last wish to get Amarino before we leave. We made it with three minutes to spare. <laughs> I've just realised what the Mr. Pizza logo looks like. What? A penis. Ah. Cheryl's kindly donated the rest of her gelato. <laughs> I haven't! <laughs> So it is 6.30 in the morning, bright and early, and we are about to leave Porto. We've said goodbye to everybody, and it was really sad. I don't think they featured in the vlog very much, did they? Ooh, little bits. We didn't like yeah. vlog too much of everyone else, yeah. because I don't like shoving cameras in people's faces. But everyone was just so great, and I feel like we've made such great friends this week. Mm. And we had such a lovely time. We've already booked another Yeah, trip, I've already booked another trip with them. And it was amazing to like meet people in person because we all met on YouTube and yeah, I feel like I just made a set of new friends and our Uber is about to arrive. We're gonna go to the airport back home. Hope you enjoy the Porto vlog. Yeah. We had it's such a really great fun. week. Yeah. And the sorry Uber? I don't know. Doesn't sound like it. No, it doesn't. Um but yeah, we had such a great week. Oh, there he is. Uh -huh. 
We had such a great week and you can tell by the bags under my eyes how much of a good week we had. Yeah. And I'm really sad to be, I, I, it's sad to say goodbye. Yeah. We love Porto and all our friends. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you in a vlog back home in Brighton. A thrilling Brighton vlog. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Bye.